Yeah, we got some swells today. We got some wind in our face, and the sun gazing is, well, it's actually okay. We didn't see the ball come up, but there was a place in the gap where we seen about a quarter of the, of the ball. So really, when you're sun gazing, you don't have to be disappointed because you don't see the whole totality of the roundness of the ball. That's okay. All you have to do is see a piece of it, a piece of it at the point where you can see the edge of any piece and then you just believe, you just actually internalize that the sun is feeding you and it's changing your DNA code, it's actually upcoding the, to the new codons of love and light and it really, really works. It, uh, I've seen in video people that have lived without food for months because they've got used to eating the sun. And then when they do eat, they eat enriching spirit-fed food of the light. Raw food and vegetarian type lifestyle. And then the magic happens. You become younger and younger, healthier and healthier. And everybody wants to know where the fountain of youth is. It's right there in the sun, man. <laughs> It's there. <laughs> but don't put your eyes out. Read the safety uh, tips. Read and learn and investigate how to look at the sun safely. Wear some eye protection. Squint when you look at it. I don't want to go off into a safety lesson here because I was into a spiritual role there with the upcodings of the codons of love and light. So I'll post more about the codons and how that works and why we need to assist our higher self and ourself into upcoding to new codons. What is the purpose? And I'll post many links and many great people that talk about this. So keep coming back. Subscribe and hit that like button. Thank you, thank you, thank you.